HEG Studio is a simple piece of software that runs on a Macintosh or a Windows computer that can be used for doing HEG training. Let's take a quick look at it. When you install HEG Studio, you're going to place the folder inside the folder called Program Files on your Windows computer. You'll create a shortcut from the application and put that on your desktop so that you can open it easily. Each time you open HEG Studio, you're going to work with a user. The user can be yourself or it can be someone else. And there's a file menu that we'll see in the next slide, which allows you to either add users or switch users. When you click to add a user, you'll be asked to give the, the user a name and you'll create inside your My Documents folder where HEG Studio has already created an HEG Sessions folder, a new folder with that client's name. And inside that you'll see that there's a folder here for auto saves. We'll talk more about those in a minute. And for the client himself. At the top of the screen, when you open it, you'll see the version number of HEG Studio that you're using, and you'll see the name of the user who's been currently selected. You can change this, obviously, by going to the File menu and choosing Switch Users. There are session controls up here, which are the same as you would find on a DVD player. Play is the blue triangle. Red is the save or record. Double blue lines is for pause and the blue square is for stop. There's also the HEG ratio graph up here which will run from the beginning to the end of the session. So the beginning of the session will always be here and the most current moment will always be here. It just keeps expanding as it goes along. We want this to go up as we're raising the ratio of red to infrared in the prefrontal cortex. You'll also see a video window. HEG Studio at present has video feedback, not with sound, but a kind of a cool system of video that moves forward as you're going up and backward as you're going back down again. We also have feedback controls down here. We have a sensitivity button and a mode button. And we have a place where we can select videos from the list that are in the media folder inside the HEG Studio folder inside program files. And we have the timer and the statistics from the session. The baseline where we started, where we are now, the percent gain and the overall session percent gain. Those are all showed on this window. To run the session is very simple. It's important to understand that HEG Studio starts immediately recording when you open it. So if you're going to be training yourself or if you're always training the same client or if you know that that client is already selected, then Put the headband on, be prepared, and when you open the program, it will automatically start. In many cases, you'll probably want to click the stop button, and then you may choose to add a new user, switch to another user, uh, or make changes in the feedback material. Notice that the user settings, that is, what kind of sensitivity, what mode, what videos, and so forth are saved for each user. So when you switch users, you'll automatically switch those settings. You can choose to switch the video file at this time before you start the session or during the session if you choose to. And you can make any adjustments to the feedback that you like. The feedback mode allows us to choose between responsive and smooth. You'll see this more in the next video where we actually do a sample of training. Responsive means that as the graph 
of the red to infrared ratio is going up and down, the video is moving forward and backwards very quickly. The smooth mode uses a kind of averaging to keep that very, very quick switching from going on. For clients who get frustrated with the video going forward and backwards, the smooth mode may be a better choice. Feedback sensitivity is from 0 to 1,000. The default is 10. This basically is a measure of how fast the video moves when you're going forward or backwards. 10 is a pretty good place to start if you decide that you would like to make it go faster or slower you can use this sensitivity control to change that. You have the ability in HEG Studio to use two monitors. If you have your two monitors set up so that one of them is an extension of the Windows desktop, you can simply right click in the video window and choose detach and drag the video only onto another monitor. So the client can simply be watching the video and the trainer can be watching the screen and the graph. When you're ready to go, you click play and the session will start. I usually ask the client to close his eyes for a few seconds before starting and then have him open when the program's running. That way the baseline is set before the client has started to concentrate. If the baseline doesn't look right, the client keeps going down after they open their eyes. It's simple enough to simply click stop, wait a little bit, get everything settled down, and then click play again. When we save a training session, there are some cool benefits to HEG Studio. First of all, the folder structure that we looked at before, we can see here inside the HEG sessions all of the clients that we have. And there is a function called Auto Save in HEG Studio. So that even if you don't say that you want to save the file, HEG Studio will save it. So you can always go back and look at how you did in a session. The benefit to saving manually is, number one, that you can actually give the file a name that tells a little bit more about it. For example, you might choose to put C after the date and time for a session that was done in the center, and then L for the left side and R for the right side. You could even create folders for C, L, and R and save the individual sessions in those. Each session is named with the date and time that it was done. Also, the autosave involves having lots of files because every time you start a session, even if you stopped it after 10 seconds, it's autosave. So you have to go in and clean the autosave folder every once in a while. The manual saving can be done at the very end of the session. Anytime before you stop the session, you can choose to save it. 